open fire! By 10.20 a.m., the Confederates had reached Hare's Ridge and had pushed the Federal cavalryman east to McPherson's Ridge when the vanguard of the 1st Corps finally arrived. The troops were led personally by General Reynolds, who conferred briefly with Buford and hurried back to bring more men forward. General Reynolds directed both brigades into position. General rode his horse along the east end of Herb's Woods, shouting, from his horse, killed instantly by a bullet striking him behind the ear. He's dead. Major General Abner Doubleday assumed command of the First Corps. On the right of the Union line, three regiments of Cutler's Brigade were fired on by Davis Brigade before they could get into position on the ridge. Davis' line overlapped the right of Cutler's making the Union position untenable, and Major General James S. Wadsworth ordered Cutler's regiment back to Seminary Ridge. Some of Davis' victorious men turned towards the Union positions south of an unfinished railroad bed, opened three shallow cuts on the ridges, while others drove east towards Seminary Ridge. <laughs> south of the pike, Archer's men were expecting an easy fight against dismounted cavalry men and were astonished to recognize the black hardy hats worn by the men facing them through the woods. The famous Iron Brigade, formed from regiments in the western states of Indiana, Michigan and Wisconsin, had a reputation as fierce, tenacious fighters. Confederates crossed Willoughby Run and climbed the slope into Herb's Woods. They were enveloped on their right by the longer Union line, the reverse of the situation north of the Pike. At around 11 a.m., Doubleday sent his reserve regiment, the 6th Wisconsin, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Rufus R. Davis, north in the direction of Davis' disorganized brigade. The 6th joined the 95th New York and the 84th New York, also known as the 14th Brooklyn, commanded by Colonel E.B. Fowler, along the pike. The three regiments charged to the railroad cut where Davis' men were seeking cover.
the Union men reached the railroad cut. Vicious hand-to-hand -hand fighting broke out. The fighting continued for minutes more and numerous Confederates were able to escape back to Hearst Ridge.